everybody, welcome back. So, last night we left off with Nick doing a long freehand chainsaw cut down the center of a log we've nicknamed the Beast. Good morning. Back to work. His mood, we're gonna say, is so-so, but the chainsaw cut looks great. Are you getting on the regular mill today? The reason for that is that while getting ready to set up the frame for our new workshop, he felt that some of the smaller timbers he had milled himself were uh, not highest quality. So this has too much of, the, of that width um, interrupted by that knot. The problem with the knots is that it interrupts the, the linear structure of that, um, of that beam. So. Uh, if you have a knot that's <clears throat> a little smaller than this, you can put it um, you can put it up and have this side, the underside of the beam be in tension, and then the knot be in compression as it tries to bend. But some of these are just too big, and they interrupt in multiple directions. Or there's one on top here, and then maybe one on the bottom there, and then, then where do you put it? You're, it's a bad choice all around. Oh. I imagine those wasps still want to find a different place to live. Oh, do you have wasps? It just wasn't worth it to me to worry about that every time I stepped into the shop because I'm gonna be stepping into the shop probably every day for the rest of my life. And that is something I don't need, well, literally hanging over my head. So um, I went back and I found some, some nice big logs. Uh, they were right from the bottom of the tree. They were completely not free and uh, made, uh, what did I make, uh, 15 or so really nice, clear four by fours. So even if I'm not able to eliminate every knot uh, out of every purlin uh, in the roof, at least I have increased the quality throughout. So those ones that do have knots, I'll put them sporadically through the, through the roof. Um, but they'll be helped by the really nice ones. This is one of the new ones. Um, you can see it's not totally not free, but there's nothing bigger than a finger running through any of this. Um, pretty straight grain, not a whole lot of grain run out. So, um, there's no way that I could jump up and down on this and even hear a little crack. So these are going to significantly improve the quality of that roof. Um, <laughs> after all of that, even the, the most manly of men feel like a little shampoo. <laughs> I'm still on the strategy of leave the man alone. So I'm taking the girls into town to do some really boring stuff. And then one fun thing, they need some new summer clothes and we're going to the thrift store. We're out of chicken food. I'm gonna go with mommy too. That's awesome. Are you, are you going to be very helpful? Are you sure? When we cooked our bread, it shaped out in a way that looks like a pony. You are. <laughs> Best part. You can see when Nick reaches the top of the mountain and starts to come down the other side in terms of accomplishment and satisfaction. It was really hard, but also having done it can feel really great.
You're a rock star or what? I'm a rock star. Whoa. It's good here, isn't it? Hey, I like it. You got to tie up shoes? Yeah. You're going to do it? Mm, I don't know. You'll get started, huh? She was kind of thinking you would do it for her. Every day. You and me. <laughs> Sadie, put on your shoes. Oh, never mind. I don't want to tie them again. That's what I'll say. So tonight's movie night. We watch pizza while watching the movie. We eat pizza while watching the movie. We watch pizza. Just do a dance. We eat pizza while watching a movie. Not watch pizza while eating a movie. That's that's not so funny. How do you eat a movie? So and come on. It happens every Friday. So, yeah, tonight we're watching The Wizard of Oz. Come on in! And we bought the pizza because yep. we're not crazy. Let's watch now. Well, Nick okay. is kind of crazy. I'm a little crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, bought, I, I am totally crazy, just so you know. We, we, <laughs> we bought it because I was making lumber instead of Safe pizza spot. this week. <laughs> So finding out that a bunch of lumber was not suitable for use uh, is never fun, but uh, I caught a little solo time and was able to crank out a little more milling. And the pieces that I was able to produce this time around were actually way nicer than uh, anything else that I have uh, made as far as those four by fours go. So this will significantly um, increase the quality of that roof. Uh, so, I don't know. I got it done. And now what? And now what? Now we have to process them. We have to kind of sort through and see which ones we want to get rid of um, and uh, cut to length and mill the ends and everything um, and get them all in the stack and waxed up and ready for the day that they go on. Do you remember when you used to cook here? I do. It seems uh, seems far fetched now, doesn't it? It really does. We were crazy. Well, yeah, that, and we've let it go into some state of disrepair. Right. But, um, yeah, we were crazy. <laughs> I mean, we still don't have a sink. So. <laughs> yeah, we're still crazy. Okay, but I meant now. What is your evening? Like, what happens now? Oh, what well, happens now in my evening? Now I eat pizza and watch my kids watch a movie and um, then uh, whatever I want. It's Friday. Good night, little house.
my toothbrush. That happened three seconds ago. We were all oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We have one empty box. And one full box. Pink. Just like the other one. Pink going away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good save.